All right, so I'm going to show you the best photo recovery software. Now, we've tested six different versions. We've tested the free to the medium to to the medium price to the most expensive. And we've out of six, we've declared one the winner and it's the absolute best. Now, if you've tried any undelete software or any photo recovery software, they typically work something like this. And if you haven't, I'm just going to show you real quick how probably 90% of the software works. You click this. This is the hard drive that um, you would want to use um, or where you'd want to find the deleted files. I've checked it. It's already begun to scan. So now it's starting to look for all of the deleted files. Now, if your files aren't in the recycle bin, um, they've been deleted. So this software will help you find it. I'm going to go ahead and let this run, and then I'll show you um, uh, how it works. Oh, there it goes. So basically, now you'll have to know where your files were. So if you deleted your files from your users folder, which is here, typically most people will save their photos in their username slash pictures. Okay, so the software is done scanning my hard drive. Now, if you wanted to look in the recycle bin, you click that, and now notice you have all these weird looking folder names, and then you click that. Well, there's different, going to be different um, files in there, as you can see, and they're all cryptic. Notice there's a JPEG. Well, that's fine and dandy, but how do you know which photo, you know, you're trying to recover? Uh, most people would save their photos in their users and the pictures folder, which is here. And we'll scroll down real quick. Where's my pictures? pictures so notice now we've got all these pictures as well so we could restore these pictures if we wanted to and you just have to know where the folder is so that's using um, the most typical software now let me show you the best software and why it is one second okay here's the uh, the next software and it basically works the same you could scan any media so if you have a USB drive or a USB key or um, some sort of memory card plugged into your computer you could restore them and they would show up in this list in my case we're going to restore some photos from the C drive so by clicking C then I click the recover button over here now this scan on this hard drive typically takes about 10 minutes and as you can see they give you a visual representation of what they're looking at on your hard drive so I'm gonna pause the video let this run for about 10 minutes and then I'll show you um, why this is the best photo recovery file recovery software out there that we've tested. Okay, so the scanning's done, which is great, and you'll see that they've organized everything by folders, which is great because it makes the file, it organizes the files by type instead of actually the location. So if you know that your pictures or your photos are JPEGs, you would just go to the JPEG folder, and it'll it sorted all of the photos into folders. It puts 300 photos per folder. What's great about that is because most of us don't know the file name. So typically a camera will save the photo as like dsc001.jpg or .tiff or whatever format it uses, but it uses a cryptic name. So you you wouldn't know how to find that file uh, using other software. And then what you do with this one is you would just select the folder folder and basically you have to go through each folder manually which is fine but it gives you a visual representation of the photos and I just clicked on this folder and I haven't even looked at it yet but notice all of the pictures and now you just manually would go through this if you find the photo that you want to restore you simply just checkbox it click the checkbox see how that works and then you can go through all of these folders on the left hand side here and you can just go through and figure out which photos you want to undelete now, if you look at this photo up here on the top right, notice it's um, almost like a rainbow. The reason that is, is because um, Windows has started to overwrite the file. So this is a corrupt file. You, could, you wouldn't be able to restore it. So that's why it's important if you choose to use any photo recovery software, always install it on a separate hard drive. Do not install it on the same hard drive where your photos reside. Otherwise, you're going to have a problem like that. This is the best software that we found because it gives you the visual uh, representation. It sorts the files by type, and it's just a simple software. 
um, visit the website down here below, how to undelete.info. I have more videos and I can show you how to test drive this software for free and hopefully you can get your photos back or any files that you've been trying to undelete. So thanks for watching. If you're on YouTube, uh, rate this a 5 of 5. Really appreciate it.